Ever look up at a plane and think, what about birds? Me too. Engines are powerful, sucking in huge amounts of air. Birds, well, they fly in air. You see the problem? It's more than just a little bump. Bird strikes can cause serious damage. Engines are designed tough, but a bird can really mess things up. We're talking potential engine failure. So why not put a big metal net over the front? Seems simple, right? Well, engineering rarely is. Let's dive into this. Picture this. You're trying to breathe through a window screen. Tough, right? Now, imagine that on a much larger scale. Airplane engines need to breathe air and not just a little bit. They need massive amounts of air to work their magic and keep the plane soaring through the skies. If you put a mesh screen in front of the engine, it would choke off the airflow significantly. Less air means less power, and that's bad news for getting a giant hunk of metal off the ground. The engine would struggle and the plane might not even take off. Plus, think about all the gunk that hits your car's windshield. Bugs, dirt, and other debris. Now imagine that on a screen in front of a jet engine at hundreds of miles per hour. The debris would hit the screen with incredible force. Yikes. That buildup would mess with the engine's performance big time. The engine would get clogged, reducing efficiency, and potentially causing serious damage. Here's a scary thought. What happens when that mesh gets clogged up? Remember, reduced airflow is bad news for engines. Could even lead to a stall. And those bird strikes we talked about? Instead of bouncing off, a bird could get stuck in the mesh. Now you've got feathers and other bits clogging things up even more. Safety is the top priority in aviation. Adding something that could make things worse is a no-go. Section 4. Engineering Nightmares in Tiny Grids Let's dive into the fascinating world of material science and engineering challenges. Imagine a mesh that needs to be super strong to handle bird impacts at high speeds without getting ripped to shreds. This is no small feat. But here's the catch. Strong materials are often heavy. And in aviation, every ounce counts. Heavier engines mean the plane needs more fuel to fly, which directly impacts efficiency and range. More fuel consumption translates to higher operational costs and ultimately, pricier plane tickets for passengers. Nobody wants that. And then there's the intricate design challenge of the engine itself. Fitting a mesh over those complex engine intakes is a meticulous task. It's like trying to put a fitted sheet on a weirdly shaped mattress while blindfolded on a roller coaster. The precision required is immense. Engineers use advanced computer simulations to predict and solve these issues before they even build a prototype. And after countless tests and iterations, they finally achieve a design that balances strength, weight, and cost. The result? A safer, more efficient aircraft that can soar through the skies with confidence. Section 5. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a big fan. But what does that mean for aviation safety? So, no mesh, what do we do? Well, engineers are clever. They have to think outside the box to solve these problems. Engines are designed to withstand most bird strikes. They undergo rigorous testing to ensure they can handle unexpected encounters with birds. Special coatings help prevent ice buildup, which can be a problem too. Ice can affect the aerodynamics of the plane, making it less efficient and more dangerous. Airports also have wildlife control to keep bird encounters to a minimum. These officers are constantly on the lookout for any potential bird hazards. Think of them as the airport's own version of bird bouncers. These dogs are trained to chase birds away, ensuring the runways are clear for takeoff and landing. The bottom line is, adding a mesh might seem like a simple solution, but it creates a whole bunch of new problems. It can affect the engine's performance and efficiency. It's all about finding the safest and most efficient way to keep those planes flying high. Engineers, wildlife control officers, and airport personnel all work together to ensure that every flight is as safe as possible.